We've been studying the structure of matter, and today we'll be going over the formation of crystals and polymers. Standard 3C tells us that atoms and molecules form solids by building up repeating patterns such as crystal structures, like sodium chloride, or by creating long chain polymers like this carbohydrate polymer made by linking together glucose molecules. Okay, let's first go over crystals. Alright, so let's start with crystals. Many of the rocks on the surface of the earth are made out of crystals. In fact, here are some examples. Here I have some amethyst. See this nice beautiful purple color? You can actually see the crystals growing right out of there. And then here we have some granite. Many of the mountains are made out of granite. If you look closely, you can actually see the crystals, the little peppering things, that are growing within this rock as it slowly cooled. Now, for this production, we're going to actually talk about salts, okay, and how they're actually formed. Salt is made from the elements sodium and chlorine. These two elements come together to form a compound called sodium chloride. To form a crystal, you simply repeat this pattern in all directions. In other words, it grows around a central lattice. And of course, it grows in all three dimensions. Okay, now let's go over polymers. Hey, I'm at a local grocery store here looking for examples of natural forming polymers. So let's take a look. Okay, I found some. Here we have corn, which is actually a polymer called carbohydrate, also a great source of energy. Okay, so to make a carbohydrate polymer, we start with this glucose molecule, which is represented by this hexagon shape. You just have to link several of these molecules together in a long chain. Hey, wait a minute. Wood is also a polymer. Hardware stores are actually a great place for examples of synthetic polymers. Take PVC for example. Polyvinyl chloride. To form a PVC polymer, you just need to link several vinyl chloride molecules together in a long chain. Oh yeah, and also this fleece. It's made out of polyester fibers, and yet another example of a polymer. Okay. So let's review. Crystals are grown by combining atoms in a repeating pattern three-dimensionally around a central lattice, while polymers grow by linking molecules in a long chain. Next is a science book production.